And good morning, good morning, good morning. <clears throat> good morning, Twitch. Good morning, Twitch. Good morning, Twitch. <clears throat> As we get our day started here on this uh, 12.19.2021 day current time is <clears throat> excuse me <laughs> just waking up here folks uh current time is 0908 a.m eastern time here in upstate new york southern tier of upstate new york where i live and reside and um yeah i slept in i woke up maybe 15 20 minutes ago and we do have the morning coffee the morning coffee is here folks uh, 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 uh. We do have the morning coffee. Good morning. And uh, it's tasting good. Oh, who am I? I'm Richard Roberts at Fireman, Fireman Rich here on uh, Twitch. And uh, this is the uh, Sunday morning coffee Twitch. I should put broadcast in the title. I'm looking at the title. But uh, I'm over there on Twitter as well as at Fireman Rich, and uh, where I tote myself as a social media observer and social media enthusiast. In other words, I like playing on this thing called the internet. And uh, <clears throat> oh, so we are here on Twitch once again. We were here yesterday, actually, for the morning broadcast, and we had a gaming broadcast. Uh, Lotro, Lord of the Rings Online. I do like playing that. The funny thing is, about the first 40 minutes, my mouth is moving, but my audio went. So I wasn't watching my meter. I, I saw the uh, desktop audio going. I was so, I'm so impressed with the uh, image output. The, the, the picture is stellar. It is, is out, outstanding here. And, um, the other big thing is, it is landscape. We are landscape. We are landscape. <laughs> I just had to throw that in. Um, so we are getting our day started here. I had a good uh, day yesterday. I hope you all had a good Saturday yesterday. And, whoa, good morning. Good morning. Just dropped by to say hi. Just back at, from the car after morning track. Yeah, I got to catch a replay. I slept in. I just woke up literally 15, 20 minutes ago. I actually forced myself to... Uh, so do you have a broadcast? Oh, yeah, you do have a broadcast. You got two broadcasts I've seen. Let's see. Part one, beautiful views above the mist in the morning track. Ireland, Teddy Tales, and Twitch... You got eight views on that one so far that I've seen. And then part two, beautiful view, views of the mist. So I got to watch that after this broadcast. That's going to be part of my morning broad, morning viewing here. Thank you for being here, Walt. I'm raising my coffee cup. Walt Hollick, who's in the comments here of this broadcast. Uh, yeah, above the mist and fog. Walt Hollick is a, a fantastic broadcaster that uh, he himself always, he also broadcasts in the landscape the landscape is the best right walt <laughs> um you're welcome walt yeah uh walt I, he he brings some fantastic uh uh views from the irish countryside and uh, we appreciate that walt i mean the twitch is working very it, it's working outstanding for you sir it's working outstanding and after my gaming um I had a little boop yesterday. I broadcast for an hour and a half uh, the Lotro game. And for 40 minutes, I'm sitting there talking. And I, I didn't have anybody in the chat, I guess. So it was an afternoon. And uh, I'm sitting there. And it was about 40 minutes in. I realized I didn't have any. Yet. But the, the game sound, the desktop sound was going. But uh, my microphone, for some reason, uh, OBS crapped it out or something like that. So... Uh, um, but we are we have a great picture here. Uh, let me see about the audio here. Let's see what do we have on the uh, the 
Oh, audio is great. The audio is great. I'm I'm listening to it on the L, uh, on the Surface Three. Okay, so um, you know Twitch Twitch is getting it done for me. So uh, um, let's see. Like everything takes time to build up audio and picture. Thank you, Walt. And it it also is good for you. I think the only drawback you have there's some pockets that interfere with your signal, but the you know your picture. And audio more than makes up, more than makes up as for it, as far as that goes, and uh, as far as that goes. So um, um, we appreciate that, and um, I'll, I'll make sure I. The only thing I found when I'm watching replays, um, when I'm watching replays, the um, you can't comment afterwards, as far as that goes. I saw, so that's you know how you. On that other platform, you would put, uh, uh, you know, if you watch it, you would put a hashtag replay, but you can't do that. So, but that's okay. That's that, that doesn't even just an observation. Uh, one thing I do want to say that the forty-minute bit that where I wasn't talking yesterday, I was talking about something very important. Our good friend, um, let's see, Walt. Yeah, plus the moment, plus at the moment broadcasting at the wrong time need to look at that in new in new year oh okay yeah yeah time is always important um we have a good friend our friend randy w horton he broadcast this morning going into work um i'm sure i saw i saw that he had a broadcast there too so i'll be watching that but yesterday i watched the broadcast that he did and uh, he, his family is okay his family is doing okay. They could do better, but uh, um, the island of Cebu in the Philippines took a direct hit. And um, I've been watching some video, and the and the um, it's pretty devastating. It's pretty devastating. It's no no telling what the death toll of that typhoon uh, that passed through the island um, is going to amount to. Uh, his family was there he has two homes both homes are uh, are wrecked i guess they're still standing to a certain point but uh some of his descriptions of um half the roof off and water coming in the second floor looks like a flood came through um it's devastating and i know firsthand um when he's describing that what uh, the people in Cebu are going through because uh, the one year I spent at Wallace Air Station in northern Luzon, um, I went through a typhoon. Typhoon is a, it. It's a hurricane on steroids, folks. That's and uh, it's um, the only thing more devastating. It would be the tornadoes that we're seeing, um, but that's Mother Nature. Mother Nature it, when. And we've had floods here in the southern tier that you're just mind boggling. A year ago, around this time, we had 40 some, 42 inches of snow dropped right outside here overnight. And I'm like, so um, this uh, uh, typhoon that hit Cebu, our thoughts and prayers are with Randy and his family. You know, they, he says they're doing okay, uh, there's a communication. Uh, Walt says, wow, I saw some of his, uh, tweets, didn't realize it was that. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's bad. If you look at the YouTubes, there's YouTubes out there now. Um, there's people trying to function now. Oh, never experienced one. Yeah, it is scary. The wind is, is just, it scares the, it scares the bejeebies out of you. Um, at Wallace Air Station, when it was coming in, we, we had a three story concrete building. We all met in the center day room and we called it a typhoon party we just brought all our booze and beer and uh munchies and uh um we're lucky nothing came crashing through the window but we saw uh, we saw the effects most of the structures there on the 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 air station were um, of concrete so uh but uh the trees i mean there was 100 year old trees that were freaking i mean probably about four feet in diameter they were just toppled over like they were just like that um it's mind-boggling so um um you know as soon as I, I heard about it i knew there was a typhoon out there in the pacific um and uh it, wow that's crazy yeah it is crazy so um 
Um, uh, I, I guess we were going out to the local Lowe's here to pick up a, I had to replace a GFCI Electrica outlet back in the uh, new room back here um, and uh, by the washer. And I got on my data, and I rarely do this because uh, Randy, he was on there on Twitch, and I didn't realize what he was talking about. I thought he was talking about Tennessee, and it wasn't until I came back home and got my uh, changed out the plugs that I sat down and listened to the replay, and I'm like, oh, my God. So I've been watching some YouTubes and stuff like that. So, uh, um, you know, again, my thoughts and prayers go out to the uh, – um, go out to the people of the Philippines. Hang out for a minute, folks. Okay, and um, so we're Randy's going to probably keep us updated. And um, like I said, the main main thing is that uh, he, um, it's just the um, communication factor. He's getting very little communications, but he does know his uh, wife and kids are are okay. And uh, that's uh, that could need to drive now, mate. We'll be listening, to, but can't. Com no, that's okay, Walt. I'm fully, on, you know, you, you've commented enough. Buddy, I appreciate it. Walt, you're you're an outstanding guy. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's just uh, no problem. You're, I'm just going to be on for here for about thirty minutes and stuff. Um, I do have an article. Um, if I get to it, I get to it. If I don't, I'll I'll, I'll save it for tomorrow morning's uh, broadcast. So, um, um, but we're getting our day started here, and uh, as far as that goes, and uh, we'll see how the day day comes about as far as um things to do um we do oh we do have we do have the nfl football i can talk about that um let me bring that up let's see what games we have for today so um yeah so how i have this i'm i'm doing the twitch i have uh, the obs only up on the box here and i'm and uh it's running pretty well though the cpu is a little high so i could see using this yesterday and then using the day after how much the cpu builds up it's it's sitting at about 40 to 45 46 percent and i just have uh obs up so that means the the ram needs to be cleared out i i do need to do a twitch uh broadcast or use obs over on my other box to see what the comparisons is um nfl nfl scores let's see Let's see what we got for games today. Oh, but first, uh, currently here in the southern tier of upstate New York, it is uh, 28 degrees. It's uh, cold. We had some rain yesterday. Uh, looks like we're going to get some snowflakes there. I see a cloud with some snowflakes. It's going to be mainly cloudy with snow and showers. Uh, I don't know. They, they come pretty close to looking like snow clouds. Around the, this morning, high 31 degrees, so we're going to be below freezing. That's Fahrenheit. Winds out of the north by northwest at 10 to 20 miles an hour. Chance of rain, snow, 40%. And uh, I see just cloudy. Sun rose this morning at 0730, which was about uh, an hour and 55 minutes ago. <laughs> um usually we're up before now we're we're up afterwards and uh that's 7 30 a.m and let's see the uh sun will be setting at 4 37 p.m as far as that goes so um let me see something here also let me see my channel let me bring this up as far as um uh, go here we swing this button that way Will that work? Yeah, and then we put on the chat. The chat, where's the chat? Oh, there's the chat. Okay. I got the chat up. Okay. Man, that picture's good. It's a good picture. Um, our thought for the day comes from uh, Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett. He, uh, his thought goes this morning, the best asset is your own self. 
you could become an enormous degree the person you want to be. So basically, you know, do the best you can and become the best person you can do with uh, with what you have. So that's Warren Buffett. I guess he's a big, uh, who is Warren Buffett? Warren Buffett. I don't think that's the singer. Let's see. Let's see what the Google says on that one. Warren Buffett. That's our thought for the day from Mr. Warren Buffett. And I know he's rich. He's a he's a very rich guy. Let's see. Warren Buffett uh, is an American businessman, magnet, investor, entrepreneur, philanthropist, and is currently uh, chairman and CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, with whatever that is. So he's got. I know he's got money, but uh, he didn't get his money by not being the best he he can um let's see he thought he became an enormous degree of the person he wants to be and that's a very rich individual i guess um so that's a it's just a self-improvement sort of our thought for the day the best asset is your own self you can become to you can become to an enormous degree the person you want to be so there's our thought for the day and um, um, so but let's see moving to the NFL that's what we could talk about the NFL on the football let's see and because today is Sunday we got football I'm not I, I I'm not even sure who played this past Thursday and uh, we did we have football? We had football yesterday, I think, too. They're playing on Saturdays. Let's see. Oh, wow. They did play yet. What the hell? Okay, we got to catch up here. Last Thursday, the Chiefs beat the Chargers. I remember that, 34 to 28. But yesterday, the Colts beat the Patriots. Oh, I love that. That's good for the Bills. That's good for the Bills. If the Bills went tonight, today, if they're, let's see, final score was 27 to 17. Wow. So there was one game yesterday. Uh, let's see. Today, the Panthers play against the Bills at one. The, the Bills should win that one. Titans and Steelers, I think the Titans will win that. Uh, Texans over the Jaguars. Cowboys and Giants. I gotta take the Giants. I want to. I don't think the Giants will win against the Cowboys, but uh, one can only hope. They're having a crappy year. I, I'll be, I'll be bopping between the Bills and the Giant game on the TV. There, I know. I'm sure they'll have both of them on, because uh, they're, you know, well, maybe the definitely the Cowboys and Giants. That's always on. I'm not sure about the Bills and Panthers. We'll see. Let's see. Cardinals and Lions. Cardinals will win that one. Jets and Dolphins. Ooh, that's a tough one. Um, I'm going to take the Dolphins. I'm going to take the Dolphins as far as that goes. I hope the Cats must be getting in trouble. Uh, let's see. Moving. We have Bengals and Broncos. Oh, that could be a good one. That's a 4 o'clock. And then Falcons and 49ers. We have, uh, I think the 49ers will win that. And then Packers and Ravens. Packers. Oh, that could be either one. Ravens, they need a win. Buccaneers over the Saints. Hopefully the Bucks will win. That's a tonight game. And tomorrow and Monday night. Oh, we got two Monday night games. Browns and Raiders. Browns, if they win that, they're the real deal. They're, they're, they might get a wild card. And Vikings and Bears. Um, they'll have to take the Bears over the Vikings. Oh, wait a minute. We got Tuesday. We got games Tuesday. Well, they, they threw an extra weekend. So... Um, Let's see, Tuesday at 7 o'clock, Washington over the Eagles. Ooh, I don't, you know, I, I guess, I don't know. Washington beating Eagles? I don't know what the standings is. What's the standings? And they got Seahawks and Rams. That should be a good game. Rams should win that one. Standings uh, for the National Conference. Uh, we could go ahead and say, let's have the Gi let's have the Eagles lose to the no, actually, if the Giants win, let's have the Eagles beat Washington. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> because 
Well, actually, it doesn't matter because either one moves up. So um, I guess Washington Eagles, it doesn't matter. They're both tied in the in the second slot. And if the Giants win, they move up a notch. So I don't know if they have a, a, a prayer to get to a, um, a playoff game. But those are my picks as far as that goes um, on the uh, – the NFL and stuff as far as that goes. Um, so again, with uh, if um, you can share some love to Randy W. Horton, uh, please do watching this. Uh, he's over there on Twitter. Tell him, uh, you know, you're thinking about him and stuff like that. Uh, he's, um, I guess he's not going to get that boat now. He, I don't think he was getting the boat before this storm hit anyway, but um, I think the uh, the financial resources will probably go towards uh, the rebuilding. Uh, he did tweet up. I did see that the airport in Cebu is closed down currently, so I'm not sure how they're going to get, uh, other than bring it in via waterway, um, any uh, supplies and materials to, to start the rebuilding because he says it's going to probably take a three months um uh, of uh rebuilding so i'm not sure you know as far as if you if you look at philippines is a very unique country because it's a whole bunch of islands but every island you go down the main street of the main roads and they have these telephone poles it almost looks like something out of the 20s and 30s or actually before that where they had lines power lines telephone lines going all over and it's it, and they're all toppled over, and it's a mess. It's a, a it's a a, a a big mess of spaghetti. How how you can sort through that is is mind boggling. If they can, um, I know um, I couldn't do it. And it's just like, how do you figure this up? The infrastructure, the infrastructure over in the Philippines is, you know, not really all that great to begin with. So you get a typhoon and knocks a snot out of you. It's not going to be all that great either. So. Um, um but with that we'll see what happens and we'll um i'm sure randy will keep us an update so uh, uh again randy our, our our thoughts and prayers are are with you and your family as far as we're, we're glad that they're safe we hopefully the rest of the family over there is safe as well um so far the uh, the the death count that i've seen on the uh, youtubes it, it's low on the news that's being reported but uh, um one can only speculate that uh, it's going to be on the rise once they start clearing all the all the um, the um, the wreckage and stuff and start rebuilding. As far as that goes, because uh, the the example is what happened down there in Kentucky. Um, I think there were over a hundred um, hundred deaths down there in that area for the the tornadoes. So uh, Mother Nature, um, you know it's it's there if it wants to raise uh, her head she will raise her head as far as that goes and um and whatnot so um let's see with that uh we're gonna go ahead and uh shut down here we're coming up on 25 minutes and um uh, but we are on twitch doing um this the morning coffee broadcast and uh, we're going to continue doing that this tomorrow morning uh monday wednesday and friday i'm still going to be doing the anchor audio tuesday and thursdays as far as that goes where i do the meet meet and greet uh positive start to the day drinking the coffee uh weather thought for the day some idle chit chat like we're doing now if not i i, I do have an article but uh um given the circumstances i'm not i just uh sort of focusing in on uh, just getting the word out about uh randy's uh, family being okay and um you know and just express my uh my uh support for randy on uh um you know things will get better <laughs> you know it's just like uh, it's just mind-boggling though definitely mind-boggling as far as that goes all right folks that's it for now you all have a great one wherever you may be uh on this big blue marble um have a great day today on this sunday end of the weekend for us and um you all wherever you may be on this big blue marble live life have fun ciao for now as always peace take care